Deep in space within the Ruckbat sector lay a G-type star whose third planet was perfect for colonization. Man named it Hearn and launched three immense colony ships that scythed across the vast reaches of space. After abandoning their craft in orbit, they settled on the planet below. As their new lives flourished on Pern, a new enemy approached. Every 200 years, the Red Star passed close to Pern. Deep within the tail of this comet, life existed. A single-minded parasite known as Thread. An enemy without conscience or feeling, whose only instinct was to destroy and devour the food-rich hunting grounds of Pern so it could survive. There was no escape from its appalling attacks. As the Thread hit the ground, it destroyed all organic life it touched. The colony was ravaged, and was forced to take shelter in the mountains to the north as Thread laid waste to their equipment, destroyed their technology, and brought them to breaking point. With hope evaporating, and on the verge of extinction, they turned to an indigenous form of life to save them. By genetically modifying fire lizards, and utilizing their effective defense system, they created a new race of vast dragons. Named after the Earth legends they resembled, the fire-breathing reptiles took to flight to sear Thread from the sky. When the battle was over, the settlers returned to the simpler life. With the passing of time came the fading of memories. As time passed, they forgot about their home, about the machines that forged the land in which they lived, and eventually, about the spacecraft floating in orbit. And now when Thread falls, the air is filled with the cry of dragon song as the Dragon Riders fly in formation again. Hello and welcome to a new game on this channel called Dragon Riders of Pern. Um, and a, it's written over a Anne McCaffrey's uh, books about the the uh, Chronicles of Pern and the Dragon Riders of Pern with Dragonflight and all the books there. Um, and they, I think that they, it's a, a really great told story. So, <laughs> a, some some years ago I uh, found this game. It's a really old game. I think it's from the start 2000s. Um, but I found it a, and the. I just uh, bought it straight away, uh, wanted to play it, uh, so this is actually the second time that uh, that I'm playing it uh, my entire life and making a complete playthrough, but uh, it's so many years ago that I actually want to do it again, so I think that we should uh, jump into the game and uh, see what will happen and what the story is. It was nearing the end of the seventh pass, and two young men had been selected as candidates for impression. As the crowds gathered at the hatching grounds, the candidates prepared themselves for the ceremony to begin. The two could not have been more different. The elder, Roth, driven by ambition and family expectancy, eagerly awaited the arrival of the dragon that was to merge thought and consciousness, to become one with him. The other, Dalcor, was filled with fear. He had heard the tales about the dangers these ceremonies held. And when the egg cracked, the fledgling dragon began to make his way out of its shell. Roth stepped closer, pushing Dalcor aside, ignoring all sense of occasion and respect. The crowd stood on in awe and waited for the beautiful creature to break into the Pern air and select its rider for the first and only time. Roth leaned forward, waiting for the dragon to reach out and touch his mind. But the dragon pushed past him, knocking him to the ground, and advanced over to the terrified Dalcor. The young boy stared back, petrified, as the awesome beast studied his face. Then deep within his mind he heard a voice calling him soft and comforting. Greetings to Kor, I am Zenth. The dragon spoke, using Dalcor's new dragon name. Zenth had chosen him. They were now as one, their thoughts intertwined forever. Dekor had become a dragon rider. Roth stared on, bewilderment and confusion plain on his face. How could such a mighty animal possibly not select him? All his expectations were suddenly shattered as he pulled himself off the rocky floor. 
As Dekor bonded with his new soulmate, Roth looked up to see his father turn his back, devastated by his son's failure, abandoning him to wallow in his own dishonor. Roth cried out to his father, but his cries fell on deaf ears. They had gone. Disgraced by his family, Roth was sent to Healer Hall in a bid to salvage his career, whilst the timid Decor grew strong and followed his destiny to the skies, with Zenth at his side forever. That's a completely brutal story, if you ask me. But I guess that uh, Anne McCaffrey is known for uh, telling uh, brutal-ish stories about uh, these dragons and what they do and what not. So, this is the where, where we are. Um, And as I said, it's a uh, game from the early 2000s, so the graphics will of course be uh, thereafter. Uh, and uh, as you can see, um, he doesn't really have a great looking face. But uh, if you ask me, uh, back then they were actually better at the doing some... realizes the situation. He does. My hide itches to call. You always itch. Your hide and your belly are all you think about. <laughs> Beautiful jackets. The oil is on the shelves, unless you knocked it off in a stupor last night. The brush should be nearby. So we are at the other levels, but uh, if you ask me, uh, some of the graphics from me uh, from this early time were uh, were better. Now I just have to remember how to how to move him. Okay, so arrow keys, I guess, for moving. Okay, so this was actually made for consoles. So doing this and the, then I can spacebar to action note a, to myself to stop a Seraph making my <laughs> drunken head worse he told me that um, to have uh, to get my life back from the Katan in the the uh, next cave uh, I do it first thing in the morning for now, I will sleep. At least that will stop the room spinning. That's the note to self. So I got that. Um, so the it, the camera shifts uh, as you might expect, and the this is more an adventure game than it is a action game. Um, many people think that with dragons and fire lizards and weapons and war against a threat and a spaceship out in there and blah blah blah, uh, it's more important. Uh, but I think that story is important. Yes, thank you. Um, could prove useful. I think with my clouded head that would be useful. Open your inventory by pressing the inventory button. Ah, uh, I. <gasps> it's I. 
me there's my uh, my, my hatching ground for the uh, file assets right here and they they will be there so I start with the green one that's the smallest one um, there's some specials uh, we will see a hey, what is this decor uh, well, now I heard I mean I must follow the shooter to the where as you may have heard that a call meeting so the impact on your home so you will be tripping for funding placement. It's a fun special that is. Make sure that the item is in your pocket and then press the use button. Impression. There's so many and the we are last wear the largest wear of burn therefore the the urgent to uh, find a new world woman and a so so hard for the wear prayer. Could we uh, leave her And here is a Lirath, no, Lutath, Salon, Brak, Katan, uh, Timon, Lutul, Fben, Nikris, and Vyol. And that's a, that's dragon names. Um, I'll read this later, I guess. But this is. Sabor, Wellier, Athelwyn, before we're. Shut up, Sarath. Hello, Sarath. I, uh, I we're going to pick this up, but you're being an idiot. So, the non free camera angle I, just, I get here uh, really annoys me. Uh, because then you don't really know what to do. So, there. I need this uh, for uh, oiling my dragon. Is my dragon over here? Look, so it would be nice. Yes, I know. Thank you. Walk over to me. And use the use button. Yeah, I know. Thank you. But tell me where you are. That's my um, Oh wait, the big hole. Sorry. I was the I was stupid there. I just totally overlooked this big gaping hole where the synth is laying. So this is his nest. Shut up, Seth. Sorry, it's just annoying that that it it I can't even go to him before he starts to it because it's a timed thing. It just want you to do it here and now. Normally, I, I I'm not agreeing with inventories, but or not uh, with tutorials because they do this. Um, but but yeah. Inventory. Use. Hello. There we go. It's enter. Sorry. That was really hilarious. Now follow the same procedure with a brush. It's because the use button is not defined. Um, so yeah, you can press enter, apparently, and that's <laughs> the use button. Thanks to Kor. Yugoth has told me that Sabor wants to meet with you and the rest of the wing later in the day. Regarding a new werewoman, no doubt. A search is required. No suitable candidates are here in the weir. 
We must go to the hole. I'm not sure the other riders will like that too much. They think old stock is inferior. Nonsense. It is what is on the inside that is important to us. Not where they come from. Don't let the old men's dragons hear you say that. You know that rigid tradition is all that drives them. The Red Star has almost passed. Soon traditions will have no meaning. Perhaps. It has been known that the Hold Lords will begin to question our purpose on Pern. We shall have to wait and see. So there we go. Uh, now that we know that uh, that enter is how to do it, so I have to guess what to do. Has let me know that your writing here is repaired from the thread scores on it. You can pick it up whenever you like and do something about your sore head. It's setting me on edge. Yeah. Thanks, Seth. I will. So now I can walk around. So that's Katan. Hello, lad. How's the head? A bit sore. I don't think Zenth is too happy with me either. Branth too. Nothing worse than a dragon with a sore head. I'll bet Natoth is fuming this morning after what Nath did last night. And what did Neth do? You don't know? Well, far be it from me to tell you and risk the fellow further embarrassment. Very well. Zenth tells me I left my knife with you last night. I, I took it from you after you decided to scribe your name in one of the gaming tables. That bend in wine was to blame. I hardly ever drink it. <laughs> I'd better show you how to use that knife in the way it's intended. Good idea, let's do some practice. I hate idea. it. I could use the practice. So, I got my butt knife. King, so tell me something. First of all, let's go over here. Right, lad. Arm yourself. Okay. Go into your inventory and select the knife. Okay, I am gonna go into my inventory and select the knife. The knife is not selected. Right. To use the combat stance that Jacob taught us when we were whirlings, press the action button. That's good. You've kept this one. form, I see. Whilst holding the action button, you can circle around your enemy by pressing left or right. Give it a try. <laughs> oh, so, so there is something. So I can go there. Right. Now press forward once to do a light attack. It's forward once to do a light attack. This becomes important later. Easy, lad. You nearly ripped my shirt. Mm -hmm. Now press and hold forward to do a heavy attack. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Bear in mind though that a heavy attack takes longer and you'll be vulnerable for a moment. Watch your enemy and how they move to gauge when is a good time to strike. Now try defending. Press down to defend at any time. You've remembered well. You can move and attack or defend too. Trying to get around the side of an enemy will give you an advantage. Also, the more you fight, the stronger you'll get. So now my blood's all fired up. Do you want to spar for a while? Why not defend yourself? Why not? Defend yourself. That's the spirit. You'll soon forget about that sore head. So I can, so I can just let it take him until he dies. That's enough for today. I'm worn out before I've begun. And there we go. 
So now, I know this. You have a just No, thank you. No, but thank you. Okay. So, um, there's some skills. They are to the button left, apparently. So you get some skills uh, depending on what you learn and not learn. <sighs> Interesting. Um, boop, 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 boop. I am going to walk there. My file is it. This is a uh, feasting hall. Or meeting hall or something hall. Um, but there's a meeting there. Uh, let's try to go here. What's in there? It's closed. Closed quarters. Okay. Let's sit down. And the, if we walk in here, then I can talk to the guy. Hello, the guy. Who are you? <laughs> uh, I'm Decor. Well, Decor, when at least you become more conversant, perhaps we will speak. Go now, I'm busy. <laughs> the guy? You are not pleasant. Uh, but okay. As you can see, they... Uh, they all have some... some Somewhat made up quarters here. Um, what's in here? It's a book. Can I? Can I? There's a Logan. Crack dust. Where did I put that journal? Have you lost something? My journal. Well, where did you leave it? Oh, I forget. It's not that it's got any personal things in it, but it contains a list of all the skins here and what's on them. Oh, I can't file anything without it. If you find it, be sure to bring it back, would you? I'll keep an eye out. You look a little confused. But do you know your way around the weir? I only say as I have a map I could give you. A map sounds good. I love maps. Oh, now where is it? Ah, oh, ah, oh, here. <laughs> you can look at it by pressing the map button. Different maps will highlight different parts of that location. Some may even lead you to hidden areas. Thanks. I'm sure this will be useful. Yay. And remember, if you see my journal... I'll be sure to bring it back to you. What is the map button? Uh, w. Fort Ware. That's where I am. Where's the map? Hello. There you go. That's the map. No. Hello. I want to see my map. Hey, hello. Uh. Hmm. Master Huber, Master Harbor. Wing leaders, wear women, and wear leaders. First colonists, and done. Okay. Some more in here. Oh. And where do you think you're going? Uh, What's behind that curtain? The 
rear leader's private reading room, and only those of considerable reputation are allowed in there, I'm afraid. But I got some knowledge. We seriously going to find the map button. This is down downstairs. For the middle level. Okay. 